and the whole engine is separate. How much of that front end is usable storage? Welcome to this episode of Small Bike Stuff. A really exciting episode for me because I'm revisiting the Honda Stream. I actually filmed this exact Honda Stream. I filmed this one a while ago. The video was okay, but let's do my new format and, and get all the details we can of this thing. Originally, BSA made a thing called the Aerial 3, I believe. It was a bit of a failure. I'll put a photo up. They sold a few units, not heaps. Daihatsu eventually took the technology, made a scooter called the Hello, of which I actually know one within a 200 kilometer distance of me, so I'm still trying to film that. And then that didn't work out and Honda eventually took it and uh, did their own thing with it. So it's not exactly as it came out as in the BSA. They've definitely Hondaized it, but this is a three wheel tilting scooter. It's got a whole bunch of storage. It led onto the gyro. There's a gyro X, the gyro up, the gyro canopy. And now they even have an electric gyro. So this is where it all started for Honda. Let's go straight and have a look. So the first thing I wanted to film is kind of this join here because as you can see there's a, a shock there so it's a mono shock and the whole engine is separate it's this entire bit at the back here and there's no engine componentry up the front there so it's all this bit here at the back so hidden under there is a 50cc two-stroke twist and go there's no gears you just twist and you're good to go and then there is the shock there but also this whole unit can tilt now I'll show you that soon. Alright, so that's a view from underneath. As you can see, the little rear wheels are quite close together. But uh, these little 8 inch wheels are powered from this motor that's right hidden under there. You've got your exhaust pipe coming out the back there as well. It's kind of, I don't know how to explain it, I want to say a little odd diff setup and it is. So yeah, locked rear. Peter Salamence are locked rear. The both wheels are driven at the same time. Um, I'll let you know exactly what that feels like very soon. See, essentially this is just an, an oddity for me just because of the, the, the motor is so separate and I mean they are like that on the gyro as well but because this has its own kind of cover and just looks so odd it almost looks like it's towing a trailer that powers it along. This thing here is running 3 by 8 inch tyres, singular wheel up the front and would you believe it or not, 2 up the rear. Um, essentially they are the same rim. There's not a dramatic amount of difference. Uh, these ones here are splined, obviously, for the drive. This one here has a brake on this side as well, the, the drum brake there. All our controls. On the left side, we've got our high and low. We've got our turn signals. We've also got a horn button here. We'll jump over to the right side where we've got lights off and light on. We've got our electric start button. We've also got our speedometer there. So you've got a high beam light, oil indication light, probably for the level of the oil tank, left and right turn signals, and park. So that's your parking brake here. You've got your speedometer that goes up to 30, becomes red, because illegal, don't go faster than 30 in Japan. And you've also got your fuel gauge on the right there. Now, as you see, this thing is sitting up straight at the moment. However, if I turn the parking lock off, so as you can see with the parking lock off, this whole thing turns. So what I might actually do is get Peter to turn it from left to right while I stand back. So that's the maximum kind of leaning angle you really want to do. And as you can see, the rear end sits independently with both wheels touching the ground the whole time. And then when you're parked, you operate the parking lock again, and it will sit there in place. You don't really want to use that to balance and sit there individually, but it's just kind of to help you, I guess, when you do come to a stop or have it parked. All right, so now we know that it leans and tilts, and it's got three eight-inch wheels, and it's a 50cc scooter, but there are some other cool features about this. One of the most important things that I think it has is storage. I'm a big fan of storage. I've got underseat storage on my bike at the moment and this thing here doesn't have underseat storage per se but we've got this whole entire front compartment. Other side of the steering column you've got these big areas where you can just put kind of whatever you want. You put it up here and close it and it's somewhat secure. This here is probably one of the coolest features of the bike in all honesty apart from the fact that it tilts. You've got a massive amount of storage here. They say that you shouldn't put more than 5 kg in the front but if you just look at that, how much of that front end is usable storage, it's honestly impressive. I think it would change your riding characteristics as well if you put something too heavy in here. But once again, they're say 5 kgs and it is only plastic, so you wouldn't want to be too overzealous. It's even got rubber seals to kind of protect it from the weather. So if we close that, we need to get the key out of there. There we go. Boom. You've got your front storage area. I think that might be 35 years of Honda Japan or Honda Motors Japan, a very cool sticker. Turn that key, grab that seat, and there we go. It rests up against here, and under here we have fuel tank, 
The oil nozzle is here, that's how you fill it, it's kind of hidden under the back there. So you can pull that out, pull your oil in, put it away, you've got your fuel tank here and it mixes by itself. Here I was thinking I'd filmed every feature on the bike, but there's also a battery sitting under there. So you've got your battery hiding under the front cover there, which therefore is used for the electric starter as it tells you on the front. There we go. All right, so none of this has an engine. This is the engine. You can see a little bit of smoke possibly coming out the back. So that's what it sounds like when it's going. Now it's also got another cool feature. If we turn these lights on, it's got park lights. So I'm gonna go show you that. How good are those park lights? So I mean they made a few of these. There was the Honda Just, there was the Honda Joy. There's a few different three-wheeled ones they made, as well as the stream. You do have to get used to this um, rear end being stuck. You've got to ride it like a normal bike, I guess is the best thing to say. If you try to ride it like it's got three wheels, you'll just get confused and fall off. Let's see how fast we can go. Look, I don't have any room. So I don't really have an ability to tuck, but if we don't get much more speed by the time we're down the end, I will tuck. But um, yeah, it's it's really fun and the cool thing is, is I can kind of lean over and you know that behind me it looks so cool all right we're at about top speed of me sitting up leaning right over but I can't see the speedo yeah we've almost hit 50 Woo look at that long front end imagine if you just had that full of stuff so the thing is I can go down this culvert and then up the other side and the wheels are just always touching this is the coolest feature let's see how fast it went oh my gosh 45.2 that was fully leaned over man i'm a heavy boy uh it, it's it's you know it's not designed for huge speeds but 45.2 kilometers an hour is the maximum i can get on this it doesn't need to be quick to have fun there's nothing wrong with taking a little bit of time to get what you want. And what I want is 45 kilometers an hour and three wheels. All right, we'll see you next time on Small Bike Stuff. Thanks for watching. This is the Honda Stream. Thanks BSA for coming up with the design. Thanks Daihatsu for doing something else with it. And then thanks Honda for perfecting it. That's the way. Seriously though, how cool is that? Look, it's about that point. You can lean right over to there, almost touching. And these wheels are still on the ground. Still right on the ground. Amazing.